doing a tune up on this Echo string trimmer. And I've got one of these HIPAA maintenance kits. I've had good luck with this brand in the past. So I figured I would uh, try my luck again. And what they give us are two air filters. Of course, we just need the one. You have two carburetor gaskets, the carburetor itself, two new fuel bulbs, a new spark plug, and then we have a new fuel line and grommet. So the first thing we'll do is pop off the spark plug boot. There we go. And then pull out the spark plug. First is pull the plastic body cover off. And we have one more screw on the back. Pop that guard off. And then there's another screw down there that we need to remove. You guys can see it right here. So now we have to remove this. So I got the one screw out right here, but this one is seized. This is by far one of the stupidest designs I've ever seen. So I have to pull it out this way. All right, so remove the cage. I found the filter, it fell down, T27. You guys can see that gasket. I'm gonna leave that there so then I know which one to put on when I change it. And now we have better access to the carburetor and the gas tank. So, pull this breather out. Carburetor's off, here's that other gasket. Throw that aside. And then just to be sure, although this is an aftermarket carburetor, it does appear to be the same model. Just gonna very carefully undo this, just to loosen that up a bit. There we go. Interesting design that they have. Off. And what we're going to do is kind of very carefully pry this out. They normally don't come out that easily. This fuel filter actually looks really good, but we'll go ahead and change all of this. Inside of the tank is nice and clean. So we can use the old one for reference. You can see that this tube goes here down into fuel filter. You do want to make sure that you set these up the correct way when you go to reinstall everything. So so here's the breather and it goes back up into its little pocket. I might shorten this but that's easy enough to do for the dump line. It's not really any main concern right now. So now with everything sandwiched together now we can get the trigger line get it in the correct way, lock it in. This one does not have the retainer spring that the other one did. So we'll just send the nut forward and then install.
trigger looks good. Might have to adjust it just a little bit. So we'll back this nut out a little. You want it basically just resting up against the screw. I have not adjusted the idle screw yet. But so we'll find just move it forward a bit. There we go. Now this doesn't need to be super tight, but just tight enough so it's not gonna come out. 